Okay, once again, greetings everyone. Uh, I hope you are all doing great because the cryptocurrency market is rising, all is happy. And yeah, my name is Dmitry. I am the portfolio manager trader and together with Beatscap, we are working on the implementation of uh, automated strategies as well as improving the trading terminal so that you could trade uh, from one platform uh, trading spot market futures market and managing your automated strategies so today uh, let me just go next next slide so today I will be talking specifically about the spot and futures trading so what are the uh, key instruments that we've developed at Beatscap that would allow you to uh, quickly react to the market momentum so that you would enter the market at the best optimal price. So what are the tools that we have to uh, minimize your time spent in front of the uh, monitor? Secondly, we will talk about automated trading, which is basically my favorite topic because I have so many strategies like ready-made strategies and configurations for you, which you can use straight away during today's webcast to launch your first bots if you have never ever launched them before. So that's going to be especially interesting for those who've never tried automated algorithms at BeatsGap and also for those who are already uh, like been trading with BeatsGap for quite a long time. I have some new things for you as well. So yeah, that's going to be absolutely useful for uh, all of you, regardless of your trading experience. It's going to be a step-by-step -step guide from me and you will be able to launch your first bots if you've never launched them before. So yeah, risk-free trading, that's the specific topic which we're going to talk about as well. And that's the demo mode that we have at BeatsGap, which basically a virtual account, like a trading simulator, which allows you to discover and optimize own strategies. And that's like the cool thing about this is that you will be able to create like best set of strategies before risking real money. All right. The fourth topic is going to be backtesting. So that's basically the tool that we use to test any uh, automated configuration for our bots before actually launching them so that you could see and well, basically you could get some key metrics to project your future returns and to find best like optimal cryptocurrency for you on which you will launch the uh, algorithm. And of course, the risk management, there are actually five tools that we have for the uh, automated trading, for a uh, spot market, and of course, for the futures market. So let's jump into, and we will start with the trading terminal because with the recent update, we have some cool features, uh, which I want to share with you. And we will cover here future spot trading, how to set multiple take profits, so yes, you are now able to set multiple take profits uh, orders and to see your projected return if all of these take profit uh, orders are hit by the market. The trailing stop loss, if you want to have a control over your profits and minimize your loss 24-7 and a buy and sell volume indicator as well and TVAP order, the new one, so what is the primary objective of this newly implemented order? We will cover this right now. So let's go straight to the uh, platform. So uh, as you log in, you will notice that you have this button over here. As you click on the avatar, you have this option to switch to the beta mode on which I am currently am. So you can actually do this in order to open this same page as I have. So initially your page looks like this. So that's trading. So as you switch to a new version, here we go. All right. And 
Notice that in front you have the chart where you can conduct your technical analysis and all the tools here are available. They are coming directly from the trading view so that should be familiar to you already. On the left side you have the order book, you can manage it in any way you want. So you can only have let's say sell side of the market, you can have the split like 50-50% parity and you can have the uh, only limit buy order. So that basically provides you an overview of what is the current supply and demand on the market. You see the recent trades as well just to uh, get a grasp on what is currently happening on the market so what is the buying and selling pressure and to digest this um, selling and buying pressure on the market we have created this indicator which I call basically the buy and sell ratio and notice that it has a period from 1 minute to 30 minutes so this provides you an overview of who is currently takes over in the market. So it looks somewhat that the market right now is basically somewhere in the balance. So traders, they are fixing their profits as the market is rising. Well, actually, let me open BTC trading to USDT. So as I change the cryptocurrency, notice that the chart changes as well. And yeah, the period. So you see it's somewhat a parity over here. So even though the buying pressure is intense because yeah, we've just breached the, well, that was actually yesterday, the uh, historic resistance price of 20,000 and now we are trading at 23,500, which is insane actually. And that's why we have this 50-50 split because some traders, they are already fixing their profits and some are keep pushing the market up. So that's why this uh, ratio right now is changing quite rapidly. And as we move to the right side, so once we've conducted our uh, quick analysis, so now we see what is the supply and demand and the buying and selling pressure on the market. It is about time. And of course, once we've conducted our technical analysis on the chart, uh, it is about time to make trade decisions. So that's why on the right side everything is dedicated to the decision making process. You have limit orders and I guess there is no need to explain how limit orders work. You should be already familiar with that. Market order, stop limit with the conditional stop price or the trigger price. And we have the TVAP order. So the TVAP order that's the brand new order that we've added to this new trading terminal configuration. So basically this order is for the purpose of spreading the risk over the time period. So let's assume you are trading some highly illiquid uh, cryptocurrencies. It's been actually a long time since I traded this illiquid cryptocurrencies, so I'm no longer familiar with them, but well, let's assume that this air the air is illiquid, all right? And let's assume that you possess a great stake of this cryptocurrency in your portfolio. So imagine if you would just go with the market order and you would sell all of the high, like the large volume that you have on your balance, let's say uh, 40,000 worth of this illiquid ARD coin, all right? So this would uh, significantly affect the market if you would sell the whole stake at once with the market sell order. So the market would plunge like crazy because of the uh, low volume on this crypto and because you are basically uh, you basically swallow the uh, whole demand, all right? So that's why it will most likely dip down instantly. And with the TVAP, you actually split the sell amount. So let's say you wanted to sell like 50,000 worth, and let's assume that's somewhere around this volume. Now that's gonna be, yeah. So let's assume you have this amount. So in order to avoid this risk of having 
this deep plunge in a split of a second you want to spread the risk over time and so so you said let's say six hours within the period of six hours you want to sell this whole stake of RRDR and with a total of let's say 70 orders so that means that per each order it's gonna sell it the 11,000 ARDR coins within the period of six hours so by that you are basically gradually taking the demand from the market and uh, gradually affecting the uh, price of the coin itself all right so this tool is especially useful for uh, portfolio managers who have uh, large portfolios and you have uh, big stakes in illiquid coins maybe you participated in the past in the uh, uh, public ICOs or well something related to uh, like the opportunity uh, to get stake in those cryptocurrencies so now you are pondering over how to get rid of this or maybe you are willing to buy this illiquid coin so using the TVAP you spread the risk over time over a set of orders and by that your cost average like the like the average price you sell and the average price you end up buying is gonna be way better as if you would just go market buy or market sell this crypto so that's how you can use the TVAP. Now let's proceed and let's see what else we have here. The balance over here below. Now you can see what is in your portfolio and which one has the biggest stake. And you can actually sort them by the availability, like the available amount on your balance, because it can be the case that some funds are in trades it can be either in automated trades so it can be the case and let's say you see I have bitcoins right here and let's assume that my decision now is to sell some bitcoins so instead of going over here typing in Bitcoin and USDT this actually takes time all right Instead, I just click on Bitcoin on my balance and instantly what I get is the list of all pairs to which Bitcoin is trading. So I can instantly decide to which I want to sell or buy and that like really saves my time. It's the matter of maybe six seconds, all right? But six seconds on the cryptocurrency market, especially when we know that it is so volatile, even today, uh, six seconds really matters all right so that's why even this tiny improvement it can uh, save your time and provide you with an optimal price because you see if you waste time you may end up with the worst price as if you would like entered it before as if you would expect it to be because of just the time you wasted as you've been looking for the right pair to which you want to buy or sell the crypto so yeah uh, that's what I wanted to present you regarding the spot market so notice that you can now split the take profit so once you said they'll say you want to buy uh, Bitcoin let's let's actually switch to the demo mode remember that the demo mode is where I have my virtual money I can experiment with them so that's why I have so much opportunities here to uh, demonstrate so let's assume a limit buy optimal price 25% well, actually 50% and let's set five take profit zones one two three five so it automatically arranges them in the split like two four six and eight percent so the gap between them is around two percent so that basically means that you can set the take profit by the percentage let's say five percent up and I want to fix uh, let's say 10% so here it is then from the entry price 10% up which is gonna be by the way it's automatically calculated that's gonna be exactly the price of 25,800 I want to fix another uh, maybe 
So that's how you set this take profit. And what I like about this tool is that you have the projected profit in advance calculated for you. So you know exactly what is the risk and return uh, ratio for this exact trade. Because here you can also set the stop loss, let's say 3% below the entry price, which if it's like hit by the market, it's going to be minus 15 USDT. So that's the risk I am willing to take for the profit potential of 31. So in this case, the um, return to loss ratio is around 2. We divide the profit by the potential risk and that's going to be 2. So that's an optimal uh, ratio for this trade configuration. All right, because it literally makes no sense from the statistical point of view and from the risk management point of view to enter in trades where your risk is higher than the projected profit. So using this tool you are now able to see the exact value that you will earn potentially if all of the take profits are triggered by the market price and what is the uh, potential loss, like what is the maximum loss for this uh, trading configuration. All right, so make sure you uh, take advantage of this tool and use it to calculate your return to risk ratio to see what is your potential return and risk for each trade. All right, so that's basically one of the major principles of the trading and portfolio management when you know exactly what is the risk you take and the profit that you will earn from this trade. If you stay uh, with your strategy, of course. So what else we have? You see, I have open orders for the bot, for uh, some other trades as well. I'm not going to demonstrate this because just go on Batescap, use the demo mode and test all of these tools. Test the take profit, stop loss, trailing stop loss and get yourself familiar with this interface. All right, because here is actually nothing brand new to explain. It's just something that you have to to be uh, familiar with just with experience you will get better with trading and your like the time spent on your uh, decision making process uh, will reduce significantly you see just with practice uh, comes experience and better intuition so yeah so that's it about the spot market so what about the futures market that we have here as well. So I have my futures account already linked to Beatscap and for this one you must have a, a separate API key. So you see I have API for just an ordinary Binance spot and for the Binance futures you must have another API. So just go to Binance, create API and uh, make sure you allowed the uh, in the res in restrictions you edited the opportunity to manage futures contracts so first step go binance second step you create api and the third step you click on edit button and you configure the futures trading enabled all right and then you just take the secret and api key and here we go, you have your futures account linked to the Beatscap. Because it really saves time when you have all of your accounts uh, in one platform where you can manage not only your spot market as I have here, like the Binance, but the futures market as well. And notice that on my futures account, I already have some sample trades. Like these are real trades, samples opened for you just to demonstrate how it looks. So you see the entry price and the current PNL. So the PNL is calculated in the uh, like the equity equivalent because I'm trading with the leverage. So that means that uh, I am trading with a multiple of 20 to my margin. So that means that basically I borrowed from the uh, exchange uh, 20 times more to my initial balance. Well, initial margin in this case. And that's why the equity return is 617%. Whereas in the USDT equivalent, it's just 31 
USDT. The market price and the liquidation price here is also provided. Here you can uh, switch to the isolated or the cross margin mode and those who've been trading futures you are already familiar with these terms and just to remind you cross uh, when you use the cross mode you like the whole b balance uh, is under the threat so you basically risk your entire balance just to cover one trade and that can be quite risky whereas when it comes to the isolated mode you have a limited amount which is fixed like uh, in, uh, frozen in this trade so uh, you will not lose more than your as uh, isolated value and you see I have the cross trade for comp trading to USDT and for my 0x I have the isolated mode so you see it's the value of 45 USDT and if I want to uh, expand my liquidation like to make my gap between the liquidation price and the current price wider I just need to add some margin to my trade in this case or if I want to take out of it I can remove margin from it so why would I remove margin from my uh, open trades maybe I want to open uh, some other trades for which I require more margin and but for that just make sure that you remove margin from those trades that are already in profit because in this case profit is going to be used to cover your trade as a margin so that's something also to remember and always monitor your liquidation price because if you hit the liquidation price then you pay the largest fee uh, possible on the exchange because that's going to be the first priority uh, execution by the exchange and of course you can close your trades with the market or limit orders using these buttons I also have some open orders as a stop loss for my comp and uh, for my MKR I used to have this take profit but I no longer have MKR in my positions and yeah so all basically all information is here like the transaction history what is the uh, daily fee you pay for holding this leverage positions the trade history so everything is here you can analyze it to find uh, where you made mistakes like to analyze your weaknesses and strengths like maybe you are better at trading Bitcoin just Bitcoin maybe you are better at trading altcoins so using uh, trade history you can mm, analyze your winning and losing positions so what else do we have here well basically that's it when it comes to uh, futures trading right now it works like this but with time we will add new features to allow you uh, optimize your trading configurations further let for instance the calculator in which you will be able to calculate the maximum position size for your uh, available balance what will be the liquidation price if you enter the market at some price and what if it's like goes up or down so basically the functionality that the Binance has uh, portionally it will be added here just to make things easier and convenient uh, for you so now let's move to the next topic which is my favorite one that's the automated trading and here I will not only provide you with well as I call them golden strategies for the sideways market formation and as we know sideways market is when the market is in flat and it's the period of accumulation basically the equilibrium between the selling and buying pressure on the market and so I will show you exactly what is the trading configuration you can set and what strategy you should use for this market formation golden strategy for the uptrend using the classic bot and some other features like why automation significantly outperforms a, si a, sing a simple hodl strategy and how automated bots at beats cap they uh, minimize 
your losses in case if the market is falling so let's go to this section straight away we just click on bots and here we go let me open my demo account because here I have some sample trades already open and here you have the interface like the chart for your bots because it really uh, it's the necessity for you to have this chart always in front of you mm -hmm. because otherwise it makes it quite hard to um, make trade like make automated trade decisions without the chart that's why you have it here on the very first page and on the right side you have the uh, trading configuration panel and below you have active bots history so here as well you can analyze your sample well in my case that's sample trades you can analyze like all of the trades that you ever had here you can analyze pretty much everything like what was the daily return for each strategy and many other things that we will cover today so let's basically quickly re remind you what is the mechanism behind uh, Beatscap automated bots so what is the strategy that our bots follow and how they manage to extract profits consist consistently from the market 24 7 regardless of the market direction so this strategy works on the rising market on the sideways and even on the falling market so basically the the bot is only trading within the uh, set trading range which is defined by the highest sell price and the lowest buy price within this trading range we have grid levels or in other words limit buy and limit sell orders so limit sell orders they are represented by red stripes here and uh, green stands for limit by orders so let's assume that the current price is around 11,250 all right and let's assume that the market moves let's let me use the no actually I guess the only option is the pointer which is what I don't want to have here okay let it be the pointer so let's assume that from the current price the market price rises and it hits the sell limit order at 11,500 so what's gonna happen here is that the bot will sell the base currency at that price so that's gonna it's gonna sell Bitcoin at 11,500 and it will take 11,250 to place a fresh limit buy order right below the execution price this ensures an almost never lasting process of the bot trading on your behalf so each time it swings up it sells and each time it swings low it buys so it buys low and sells high and this creates this marginal effect as the bot extracts the profit from the market so the difference here is that we took 11,500 as a sell order and out of this 11,250 is then used to plot a new buy order and the difference is the net profit that's the bot profit actually which goes directly to your uh, pocket and that's of course in the quote currency so these are just samples you see in in a matter of one day some configurations are able to execute up to uh, 200 trades sometimes even more so that's clearly up to the market volatility and configuration that you use so the profit generated is in the quote currency and that stands for the second uh, crypto in the pair so if you say you're trading land to Bitcoin then in this case the bot profit generated is going to be in bitcoins which is something that many traders are looking for those traders and investors who bet that the bitcoin market is gonna rise uh, in a long-term perspective so that's why earning bitcoin really makes sense so that's how you manage it and uh, now is the question of what are the strategies that we have and currently there are two strategies the asbot strategy 
that's the one originated from the uh, traditional classic bot that we initially created and the classic bot so basically the difference between the two is the uh, investment distribution logic so when it comes to the classic bot it buys and sells all the time the same amount of the base currency all right so you see the price like regardless of the price the higher price lower price it always buys the same amount and because of that in this case the investment per each limit order varies so it can be bigger investment it can be lower depending on the price at which it buys and sells all right so that's the way the uh, classic bot distributes your investments proportionately whereas when it comes to the as bot it you see it has the different value per each grid level so the amount it buys and sells it varies and that's because it ensures that per each grid level it spends the same investment all right so regardless of the price it configures the uh, distribution according to your balance so that with each grid level it it spends the same uh, investment all right so that's why as bought strategy is better at the sideways market and the classic board is better at the rising market so here is why the as bot you see at the period of uh, accumulation when the market is somewhere in the sideways area so it swings like crazy but stays within this horizontal uh, price action defined by the support and resistance lines so this is optimal for the as bot and if you launch the as bot on the uh, sideways market then it will generate more profits for you than the classic bot and that's because of its investment distribution mechanism because it buys and sells the same investment value per each grid level within this trading range and i can actually demonstrate you the real example so you see the period of accumulation over here yeah swings and the as bot within this period of three days managed to generate almost one percent in the quote currency all right so that was xrp trading to usdt so the profit here in this case is in the usdt whereas when it comes to the classic bot for exact same period so you see 17th of november over here is also 17th of november three days period three days period but the profit for the classic bot is 0.57 percent so that's because the as bot significantly outstrips the classic configuration on the sideways market so in this case optimal configuration for the as bot on the sideways market can be like the one i'm just about to demonstrate you so you see you notice that the market is bouncing off the support level and in this case that's the horizontal support level and it reverts from the resistance level horizontal as well so once you spot this pattern on the market when the resistance and both support lines they sustain as the price swings between these levels it's an opportunity for you to enter the market with a as bought trading configuration and it may look like this where you have 50% of your sell orders uh, up to the resistance and 50% of limit buy orders below the uh, current price because you expect the market to swing between these resistance and support lines so you want to provide your bot with these opportunities to buy on a short-term falling market and to sell on a short-term rising market as it bounces and reverts from these levels all right so in order to set this configuration and by the way don't forget to put this stop loss uh, levels 
uh, around here so that's gonna be three percent below the support line because once the support is breached then in this case it means that the pattern that you recognize like this one on the market it just did not sustain all right so support did not sustain and it fell and that's why you want to minimize your loss here and that's why your stop loss should be around minus three percent from the support line so that's somewhere over here let me show you exactly how you create this configuration so you go here and let's say uh, we want to trade ethereum to usdt maybe so you see automatically the system assigns you the trading range but you can configure it in any direction you want so you can just drag the upper price and by that you reduce the amount of sell orders you can drag the lower price higher and by that you reduce the amount of buy orders all right and you can manipulate your trading range as you want notice that the fewer buy orders you have the more of the base currency in this case is going to be required to launch this bot because in order to sell all like in order to execute all of these sell limit orders you must possess enough of the base currency on your balance right and that's why notice that the investment here value is calculated accordingly so you need 1.29 ethereum to set all of these sell limit orders and only 200 out of a total investment of thousand to cover your limit buy orders if you change the uh if you change the balance like let's say you have fewer sell orders but you have more buy orders in this case notice how the configuration changes now remember you needed only uh, 200 usdt to cover your buy orders so now as your buy side is wider you need 872 usdt and only 0 0.3 as a base currency to let the bot execute all of these sell limit orders so that's how you configure your trading range and you can actually do this manually as well by typing the lower price and upper price but for me it really takes less time when i just drag the upper price and lower price in the direction that i actually need so let's continue here so once now we learn how to uh, set the trading range now the big question arises what is the grid quantity i should use for this configuration so here is where you set the grid quantity and remember that grid quantity stands for the amount of limit sell and limit buy orders in total so you see the frequency of these orders distributed notice what happens if i reduce it let's say to 20. now you clearly see the gap between these orders so that's because in this trading range now i have only 20 uh, limit orders all right so that's around 10 sell orders and 10 buy orders when i reduce the amount of grid levels then my grid spacing becomes bigger so that's basically what stands for the gap between my limit sell and limit buy orders so over here you see the gap between your limit buy orders it's exactly around this number and by the way the fee which you have to pay for each limit order by the exchange rules is also already um, priced in this percentage so it's already taken into account all right so we already pre-calculated it and this fee is priced in so even though in reality the grid spacing is around 1.3 um, i guess since we have to take into account the fee as you uh, have to pay for each limit sell and limit buy order as you sell or buy it is priced in and that's why it is 1.23 so the fewer grid levels the bigger is your grid spacing and the higher is the uh, marginal profit of course all right because the space between the price you buy and the price you sell is bigger whereas when you set 100 grid levels of course your grid spacing is going to be reduced to in this case 0.23 percent 
So in this case, the marginal profit is 0.23%. But this effect of reduced grid spacing is uh, offset by the fact that you have 100 grid levels instead of 20. So that means that with 100 grid levels, you will achieve the higher uh, frequency trading. All right. So as your orders are so um, tightly located to each other, so they are so closely, so close from each other. So that means that the a, uh, the bot is able to capture almost any tiny market move. All right. So that's because of the grid spacing that you reduced. So the big question is, when should I have more grid levels and when should I have fewer grid levels? Well, if you are trading cryptocurrencies that are less volatile compared with other cryptocurrencies, then it really makes sense to trade with more grid levels on those cryptocurrencies that have um, reduced volatility. Because in order to seize market swings that this reduced volatility crypto creates, we must provide enough of the grid levels. So that's why they must be so uh, tightly located to each other. Whereas when you see that the crypto of your choice moves like crazy and let's say in a day it can uh, upswing, let's say uh, 20% and then it next day it can go down 15%. In this case, you can play with fewer grid levels to increase your grid spacing because this market movement potential of 30% up and then 20% down is enough to basically justify your configuration of fewer grid levels. Whereas when let's say crypto moves in a tight corridor, uh, let's say, actually this is a bad art that I'm demonstrating here. <laughs> so sh let's, let's use another tools, mm, remove all drawing tools. Let's use this forecast. So when your market moves, let's say 2% in a day and then next day down another 2%. Well, this is quite a low volatile crypto. And in this case, you can have more grid levels to ensure that you uh, monetize on these tiny market swings. And since you have more grid, grid levels here, this fact offsets the reduced grid spacing. So in the midterm and long term perspective, you still end up with a decent return, regardless of whether you have 100 grid levels or 20 grid levels. Still in the midterm perspective, you end up with decent returns. Like on average, you see, so for example, ING trading to USDT, that's the one I have 27 days passed and it has managed to generate 24% for this period. All right. And here I have 100 grid levels. So that's basically how you see that regardless of the configuration, it's just the matter of the volatility of your selected crypto. If the volatility is not enough, then stick to the amount of grid levels from let's say 80 to 120. Whereas if you see that the volatility is enough and the market moves like crazy, then 20, 30 grid levels would be enough to generate consistent profit inflow from the market. Uh, so what else should we cover here? So let's go back to the configuration of, let's say, 50 grid levels. And of course, the more grid levels you put here, the uh, larger your investment should be, because for each grid level, there is a minimum investment required by the exchange. But everything is already calculated here for you. <clears throat> and even if you don't have enough of the money to uh, initiate this trade, then you will be notified by the system like you see over here. I want to launch the board with 180 grid levels, which is the maximum with only a thousand USDTs on my balance. So this is clearly not enough. And that's why you should either increase your balance to this amount over here which is displayed, or you can adjust the grid quantity. So having only 1000 USDT, I can open the configuration with a maximum of only 81 grid levels. 
So notice if I increase, you see, recommends me to insert more money in this case. But if I reduce, then still possible. So the maximum for this amount is, and for this setup, for this trading range, and for the amount of grid levels, that's the enough money that I have here. So make sure that before you launch your bots, you double check your balance to see which crypto you can trade what is the available uh, amount that you have and then just go straight and start configuration um, let's go back here to this configuration 50 50 percent so that's the optimal one when you spot the sideways formation and launch it on a S bot strategy as it significantly outstrips the classic bot on the uh, sideways market the way i check this is using the backtesting so if you don't trust me for, for for example let's assume you don't trust me then you can use the backtesting and let's say you want to compare the as bot and the classic bot for a certain period so let's check what would be the performance from that point 11th of december up to the uh, let's say 14th of december on ethereum so as bot 180 uh, we set the date range 11th to 14th <clears throat> so the profit would be uh, only 0.14 percent on the as bot configuration now let's compare with the classic bot on this same period so you see well maybe not the best example but let's use maybe another one uh, just to use larger numbers let's say zen to bitcoin so let's use actually this period from 14th to today so the as bot on this sideways formation with 180 grid levels 14th to 7th so that's 0.63 percent and now let's check the classic bot for the same exact period of time so yeah, you see the difference over here. So that's the way you can use the backtesting tool to compare configurations on different market formations. So as a rule of thumb, you see on this sideways formation is the period of accumulation as bot outperforms. So you see 0.9%. It outperforms the classic bot 0.57%. And the, the, the best way to actually trade these patterns is when the trend uh, is rising so most likely because from this statistical perspective it has proven to be uh, more successful that the outcome of this sideways formation is that the market breaches the resistance and goes higher so that's why it really makes sense to uh, trade with configurations that I provided you with on the uh, upside market because most more li like most likely the bridge is going to be at the resistance and if you even have your trailing up instrument on which is the one over here it allows you like basically it allows the trading range to follow the market rise you end up with even uh, higher returns in this case you see it acts like the outcome is a rising market over here it reverts back but still you see next sideways formation over here and the outcome is that the market then keeps rising even higher so in this case and in that case both scenarios the market breached the resistance line so if you had trailing up instrument on then your return would be even bigger so let's go next and by the way this is the example of how uh, as bot strategy basically automation outperforms an ordinary hodl strategy so if you would just simply buy the crypto at this price over here where i have hodl and you would hold it up to current price you would be only up by five percent whereas with automation with the as bot your profit would be 14 percent and that's because you let the bot to generate these profits on these market swings as the market was rising so compare 5% with 14% clearly 
automation significantly outperforms an ordinary hodl strategy and by hodl strategy i mean then you just buy the crypto and you then do nothing about it so it just stays in your portfolio and you hope that the price is going to rise why would you waste your time why would you waste the potential of your crypto if you can use automated bots which take your crypto to generate even more returns for you so on this uh, swinging market it extracts profits as it buys low and sells high each time the market swings and you end up with a bigger return as a result so clearly automation here is on the sideways market formations outstrips an ordinary hodl strategy so what about the classic bot the, well the classic bot is the best foot solution if you expect a significant rally so if you expect that the market is gonna rise like crazy soon then it makes more sense to launch classic bot so here's the example where I compare the performance of the S bot and the classic bot on the same time period on the same crypto and on the same period of time so you see four day period that was XRP trading to USDT and the profit was 53% on this rising market for XRP whereas for the classic bot you see the same period absolutely same crypto but the profit here in this case is 70% so compare 70% with only 53% so clearly you will spot the difference that the classic bot outstrips the as bot and that's because of the investment distribution logic that the classic bot has because as the market is rising uh, the classic bot buys like it invests more with 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 the rising market because the price increases and remember that it buys the same amount of the base currency regardless of the price so clearly when the price is rising it is now higher it is now expensive price and at that ex expensive price it buys the same amount of the crypto and you end up with the larger investment compare with those investments that you had when the market was trading before the rise all right so as the market rises it spends more it invests more in this case and you end up with bigger returns because on the rising market you are not only affected by the profit generated by the board as it buys low and sells high each time you provide it with like basically the market provides the as bot sorry the classic bot with these opportunities you also uh, see that the value of your base currency increases because the price of the base currency is rising and that's why uh, since the classic board it spends more with the rising price uh, you end up with bigger return so that's what I call an active investment change when you not only generate bot profit but you the value of your base currency also increases so that's the value change plus the bot profit in this scenario so that's exactly what happens underneath the uh, the mechanism of uh, classic bot it, it not only buys low and sells high it invests more with the rising price and the value of the base currency as the bot buys more of course it affects your investment significantly and you end up with a better return compared with a as bot strategy all right here's the optimal configuration for the classic bot you see the rising market like so the trend is clearly rising because lower low uh, is uh, now higher and the higher high is also higher so you see angled up resistance angled up support clearly the market bounces off the support and reverts from the resistance but each time it rises it establishes a new higher high and you see the exact pattern formation it actually derives from the original market from the forex from the stocks market from the ETFs market so from the statistical perspective nothing is new at crypto all right all patterns they derive from the traditional market and that's why we can take advantage of the statistical analysis to find those patterns in on the market to take advantage of so once you see this pattern formation you can 
well the optimal price would be to enter somewhere at the area of support line once you see the uh, bounce off because for instance in this configuration i would enter the outer bot trade once i see successful bounce off so not at that point when it approaches so it falls to support but at the point when it has already bounced off the support level and the price rise a bit so somewhere at around that point i would have entered the uh, market and over here you see bounce off and this bounce off is a sort of confirmation for you that the support line sustained and that's why it really makes more sense from the risk management perspective to enter the market when you see a confirmation that the support line sustained so you see now the my market price is over here and once you see it falls to support and you see the bounce off exactly like over here and over here you can enter the market with this configuration you set the buy side like this and wider sell zone because the potential of the rising market is almost unlimited here so that's why you have a wider sell zone and a narrow buy zone because even though the bounce hole has occurred you still may expect that the right chances that it will revert a bit back and then bounces off again so that's why you provide the bot with this uh well still with this opportunity to buy if instead of instantly rising it's gonna fluctuate over this area so that's why you have this uh buy limit orders to cover your position so they will just buy at optimal price and you end up rising and the cost average effect is going to provide you with decent returns here and of course the stop loss is going to be below the support somewhere over this area so that's the optimal configuration limited risk because from the entry price down to the stop loss the projected loss and projected return of course here the return exceeds the projected profit uh, sorry loss and that's why this configuration is the one that you can already use once you spot this pattern formation on the market to trade all right so maybe the last thing that i want to cover is how to uh, let the bot um, to automatically follow the um, rising market because remember at the very beginning i explained that the bot is only trading within the trading range right so if it goes below the lower price then the trading halts and if it goes above the upper price the trading also halts so as soon like as far as the uh, condition of the market price staying within the trading range is uh, is met then the bot is gonna trade but what if I expect the market to rally significantly so this is my initial configuration so what if I expect the market to move like this and then bam it just breaches the resistance line so what if I still want to participate in this market rally? In this case, you use the trading instrument. Because with this instrument, you basically let the trading range to move together with the rising market. So it's gonna be adjusted accordingly. So you see, let's say the price is now trading over here. So your range is gonna move upwards together with the rising market. And here's the example. You see, initial trading range. What if new higher high is established? In this case, with the trailing up instrument on, your trading range will follow the market rally. What about new higher high? Same, it just follows the rising market. But what if from that point the price falls and breaches the support line? In this case, the trading range is gonna stay where it stayed before this plunge because the tool is named well it's now only trading but it used to be trailing up and the functionality of it is just to follow the rising market and that's why when the price falls it doesn't follow the uh, plunge and that's why over here is the area where the bot is not able to trade but what if the price then reverts back to the trading range you see the trading continues 
So as far as the price stays within the trading range, the bot is able to trade. New higher high, you see the trading range goes uh, higher accordingly. So that's the way it works. And that's the example of NG trading to Bitcoin. You see my initial trading range was at this area. And once it breached the resistance line, my upper price basically, notice that my bot continued to trade on this market rally. That's because I had my instrument, like trailing instrument on. But what if I forgot, what if it breaches the resistance, but I forgot to switch my trailing instrument on, then what you will see is something like this. You see it was rising and as far as it stayed within the trading range, it's been trading on your behalf. But once it breached the resistance, it's, it, it just stopped trading because it is no longer in the trading range and you did not provide it with this functionality to follow the rising market. So make sure that if you want to spend less time in front of the computer and if you want to let your bot to follow the market rally 24-7, uh, because the the resistance breach, because like the, the crazy upside movement can occur at the time when you are sleeping, for example. So that's why using this trailing instrument you provide the bot with the opportunity to follow the rising market 24 7 on your behalf all right so um i see some people are asking for the russian translation well actually yes i i, I make uh, webcasts on russian language as well sometimes so yeah, stay tuned for sure. You will see this webcast in the future uh, on Russian language. So you are asking me that uh, trailing up works only with classic bot. Well, that's not. It works with the S bot as well, you see. But the idea of what I'm uh, trying to explain here is that on a rising market, the best performance is achieved by the classic bot you see and that's why if you uh, if you expect the market to continue the rally significant like you see the one happening right now with the bitcoin it's already up by 3000 from its resistance of 20000 so that's clearly a rising market and you if you would have entered this market with the classic bot your performance would be bigger than the S bots. So, uh, for like the the rule of thumb here, if you expect the market to rise heavily, choose the classic and make sure you have a trading up instrument on. If you expect the market to move sideways for some time, like let me show you the example. Where is it? Mm. So if you expect the market to move sideways a bit, because you see this phase occurs then after a significant rally, there will be accumulation because market buyers and market sellers, they are going to fight for the equilibrium price on the market. So that's why you will see these scenarios. So once you spot that there is an accumulation on the market, you can take advantage of it. You launch the S bot, you set the trailing up, why would you sell the, set the trading up? Because you spot this uh, sideways formation on a rising trend. Because and if you well, because you spot it on the rising trend, there are more chances that you will end up saying that the price breaches the resistance instead of the support. So it will continue the rally. So you, once again, if you expect the sideways formation, you set the S bot trailing up. And you set the training up because you expect that it will breach the resistance and will continue the rally. So like in this scenario, you see sideways, the S bot would have generated more profits here than the classic bot. But since you want to participate in the whole market movement and you expect the market, like you expect the trend to continue, then with the trailing up instrument on, out of this sideways formation, you will end up letting the board generate profits on this rising market because you have this trailing up instrument on. Otherwise, if you just set as bot without trailing, 
the the uh, trading will halt as the price breaches the resistance over here so that's the idea all right it's it and it really comes with the uh, practice and that's why we have the demo mode here for you so you get experiment with all of these strategies so use them straight away like those that I provide you with just just get yourself familiar with them try them and you will see the results and by the way that's these are not the only patterns that you can find there are actually around uh, 40 patterns that exist in the technical analysis but just from my uh, trading perspective and experience these are like golden patterns they worked well on the cryptocurrency market so the rule of thumb remember that the trend is your friend and once you expect on this rising trend that there is gonna be a sideways phase then you can enter this market with the S bot because you remember that the S bot is the best solution for the sideways phase and you set the trading up because you expect the trend to continue all right um, if you do not expect the trend to continue then makes no sense to set the trading up but still it basically from my perspective it always makes sense to set the trading up because why would you uh, skip this opportunity of having your bot trading on your behalf if the price breaches the resistance line all right so um, we we've, we've stayed somewhere over here so yeah that's basically the last one i want to show you uh how automated bots minimize your loss if the market is falling so assume you purchased the base currency where i have my hodl uh, pointing at and then the market falls down to that level so you end up in a minus 6.88 percent of a loss so that's a simple hodl strategy you purchase base currency you spend some time now you see it is trading below the entry price you are minus 6.88 percent but if you would have entered this base if you would have traded quantum with uh, automated algorithms either the s bot or the classic bot you would see that the uh, return i mean the the loss would be uh, significantly lower so as the bot was trading on this market swings as the market was falling you see still even on the falling market there are opportunities to buy low and sell high and that's why the bot profit generated on this falling market it offsets this whole uh, negative value effect of a falling market and that's why you end up with only a minus 3.18 percent so the profit generated by the bot it offsets the falling value of quantum and that's why it really makes sense to trade with uh, automated algorithms uh, because even on the falling market they can minimize your uh, loss all right so that's the way it works and when if hopefully the market reverts from that point and goes higher you see all of these sell limit orders they will be executed and they will offset not only the investment change to zero percent but you will end up if hopefully it rises even higher your investment change would now be in the positive zone so here this is what I call the cost average effect because your investments your investment is split by all of these limit orders so you never buy the whole stake of the crypto at one price it's spread over the limit orders so that's why as the market is falling and as the market is falling it keeps buying but with a lower price and as the market is falling it has these opportunities to sell sometimes as it swings higher eventually you see all of these tiny swings so that's why it generates profit in the quote currency and that's why this quote currency profit offsets the entire uh, negative value change as the value of the base currency depreciates so that's how it works so what we've learned today is that on the rising market we're gonna stick with the classic bot because we clearly see that the classic bot outstrips the s bot on the rising market 
when you expect the market to move sideways before it breaches the resistance and goes even higher, you would stick with the S-Bot strategy, the one which you set over here. And what you've also learned is that uh, even on the falling market, bot profit, it offsets the negative value change as the base currency is falling. So this is clearly another proof that automation outstrips a simple hold strategy even on the falling market. So it really makes more sense to let bots use your crypto to generate and to manage your crypto to generate profits compared with a simple hodl strategy all right because it is fully automated you don't have to stay in front of the computer and worry about your return and it it always extracts profits which go directly to your pocket so you see for instance over here waves to bitcoin you see all of this profit generated and by the way that's the daily return over here let's see if we have still time well actually let me spend two minutes more to explain you this so not only you can see by clicking on view the daily return and as you click on it you can estimate what is basically the average return on a daily basis that you can expect just looking uh, at this chart you see so it's somewhere around the average of what you expect can expect is well this value let's look at another one let's look at something trading to USDT view uh, bot statistics so you see the average is somewhere around what $30 so using this configuration where you have grid spacing 0 0.32 investment 2000 ING trading to USDT next time if you would like to once again enter ING trading to USDT with the, the pretty much the same investment you will remember that at that time in the past when you had for this trading for, for this crypto you had configuration of the grid spacing 0 0.32 and that's actually was what 100 grid levels in total uh, the bot has managed to generate on average 30 usdt on a daily basis all right so that's something it's not 100 mm, percent of course i mean it's just from the statistical perspective the expected return that you can get just looking at the chart that we have here of course you will spot anomalies this mean deviation because you see over here at one day it was 156 usdt so that was because of an extreme volatility that occurred on this crypto at that day but on average like gradually you look at the chart you see around 30 usdt you can expect from this configuration so once again next time you would like to launch the uh, configuration with around 2000 as we have here for ing with grid spacing 032 and grid quantity of 100 on this same crypto expect around 30 usdt just based on past performance all right so that's the way how you can use both statistics which is a pretty useful instrument that we have created here so all the metrics are provided you can analyze what is the uh, amount of the base currency which affects your portfolio right now for instance, Bitcoin trade, uh, BitTorrent trading to USDT. You see, I have quote currency in open orders, and I have base currency in open orders. So that's exactly what I possess right now as the base currency. So that means that right now, 166 BitTorrents, they are being affected by the market movement as the price of the market on the market swings of BitTorrent, and I have the quote currency here. So that's my balance, which is going to be used if the price falls this is my basically what you see when the quote currency is in the open orders it's the value in your limit by orders you can check that in open orders here side by you see the price the amount that will be spent here so if you multiply the amount by the price you will get the exact investment sum that will be spent on this price level to enter the position all right so that's basically it make sure you use the demo mode to experiment to discover strategies make sure you use the back testing tool to uh, find optimal cryptocurrencies for you just based on the past performance so let's say you want to know what is the performance of zen trading to bitcoin for the period of last let's say last month so that was 17th of november until today you get the exact 
value or actually not not the one I wanted once again so yeah for this period 50 percent you look at the chart you see that that was generated on somewhat initially it was a rising market then you end up falling market 50 percent so I mean using this tool you can uh, create your expectations all right so it doesn't mean that it is guaranteed that next time let's say if the market will move this same way moves crazy and then you see false that it will generate 50 percent but at least now you see that if it will repeat this um, market movement then around 50 percent is somewhat what you can expect for the period of 30 days so that's the way of how you can use this statistical tool backtesting to, ch uh, to compare cryptocurrencies with one another to find optimal for you. And of course, you can backtest various configurations. Let's say 100 grid levels. You want to see what would be the performance with only 100 grid levels for the S-Bot or let's say for the classic. So everything you can check in backtesting tool. You can compare to find what are the like the, what is the best strategy on the rising and on the sideways market. Well, actually, I already did that for you because I know that Classic Bot is better on the rising and the S Bot is better on the sideways. But still, you don't have to trust me. You can use all of these tools here that you have at your disposal to find it out by yourself. Which one, like which configuration and which strategy is better on which uh, crypto and on which market formation. So let's see if we have any interesting questions before I end this webcast. Okay, so how to set up what would accumulate altcoin? So that's pretty easy. You look at the uh, cryptocurrency pair in which the base currency, or oh, sorry, the quote currency is altcoin. So for, ex for example, uh, BTC trading to USDT, that's not the altcoin, that's USD. All right, but if you are looking at something like BNB trading to BTC, then in this case, you have the crypto trading to the altcoin, and that means that the bot profit generated is gonna be in Bitcoin. So if you want, if you have BNB, and you want to use this BNB to generate profits in Bitcoin, then this pair is what you are looking for in this case. But be aware of the fact that quite many altcoins uh, that are trading to Bitcoin, they are now falling because Bitcoin right now is the first priority investment. All right. But it's not always the case. You can still find those cryptocurrency pairs where you can earn the uh, altcoin, which is actually rising. All right but it really takes time to find those cryptocurrency pairs if you by the way don't know which crypto pair to trade use recommended strategies over here these are all of the top like the list of top performance performers based on the backtest results so on zen trading to usdt the board for the period of last month managed to make 142 percent it doesn't mean that next month it will repeat this same success but at least you know that there are traders that are actually trading this crypto because otherwise the bot wouldn't have managed to generate this insane uh, return so that means that at least these crypt like top cryptos here they are highly liquid market players are trading it and that's why trading these cryptocurrencies on automated bots makes sense so yeah use this list to find some interesting cryptos in let's say waves bitcoin in this case you will earn in bitcoin but also remember that the base currency also affects your investment because the price of the base currency always swings up or down so that's why in any case your investment change is going to be affected so the bot profit is always positive all right it's the it's the marginal profit from the market Whereas the investment change is the key metric that you should monitor because it provides you with an overview whether you are up or down to your initial investment. So for instance, my AG trading to Bitcoin, it is down by 12% because it fell 
significantly all right so even though the bot was making profits here i'm still in the minus zone by the way you want to know what would be the difference if i would just buy this and hold it uh, down to current price you will use this tool forecast from that point where i started down to current price well if not the automation then i would be minus 23 percent but thanks to automation i'm only minus 12 percent so you see an obvious effect of how automation minimizes your losses on the falling market so yeah if you have some questions left then feel free to ask them here in the uh, support room or you can go to the telegram chat that we have to ask your question and the community of our supporters and traders or portfolio managers they will gladly provide you with their uh, useful tips and clues and what they think about the question that you are wondering about so yeah uh, I hope you like this uh, webcast and the information provided was very useful to you uh, you can find articles uh, at Beatscap as well on the main page you go to blog and you see these are all articles that I am writing for you well not all of them but those related to automation and some strategies they written by me so you can use this as a guide in front of you when you are looking for configurations and how to set you see a step-by-step -step explanation here is also provided use this as your guide tool all right so thanks a lot i appreciate and i hope i hope you enjoyed it uh, use the demo mode use the back testing to experiment before risking the real money and i uh, see you next week bye and have a nice day